Hey everybody, Goose and Sir Dummies here, and today we're going to be reviewing 5th grade zo- Wait, wrong book. Hey everybody, Goose and Sir Dummies, we're going to be reviewing- I was a 6th grade zo- Wrong book, sorry. Hey everybody, Goose and Sir Dummies here, and we're going to be reviewing Rotten School- What the fu- As you can clearly see, there's been a lot of zombie and school, or just school horror and zombie horror, involving kids in Goosebumps, as well as other series. Um, there are actually multiple books in Goosebumps. There's Fifth Grade Zombies and Zombie School Now. This book, which we're reviewing today, the actual one reviewing Why I Quit Zombie School. Sorry for a little tease, I'm not reviewing Fifth Grade Zombies for a while, so <laughs> you buckle up, alright? So yeah, um, why, uh, why I Quit Zombie School, we're actually reviewing it today. Yep, there's a lot of school-related zombie books in Marl Stein's catalog, but this is the second latest one. And uh, probably my favorite cover of the free. I know I said it. I like it a little more than Thick Free Zombies. Mostly because it has very poppy colors. I like it. So yeah. Um, this is my second to last Hall of Horrors review. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to finally cover it. Let's just dive right in. And now for the blurb. Zombie Plus. Poor Matt Krinsky. Not only are his parents making him move away from all his friends, but they're enrolling him in the boarding school. It's not a strict place, but that doesn't mean things are normal. While Matt is used to being one of the better athletes in his class, these kids move at dead slow pace. It doesn't take long for him to realize that he's surrounded by zombies. And his classmates have begun to notice his heartbeat and warm skin. Can Matt convince them he is undead long enough to stay alive? I don't know. <laughs> well, I read it, so I know. And uh, let me tell you, it is a banger, surprisingly. This is one of my favorite moderns. Um, and it shocked me to learn that this is a not very liked one amongst many people. Um, and I just don't see it. This is basically, if you guys have read the triple header books, Ghoul School, or even Creature Teacher a little bit. But as like a full book, of course. I mean, Creature Teacher is a full book. But like, specifically, Ghoul School is a full book. Um, and I really like it for that. It's a very fun time about a school full of zombies where you're the only not zombie kid. And the only, I mean that, so sorry if you're already reading this, might as well the ending. So yeah, let's move on to my upsides. Now for upsides, my main thing that I really liked about this book is all the zombie stuff and how fun it is to read about. Another fun book. <laughs> Lots of these higher ranking books or placing books or rated books just are generally way more fun. And uh, there's usually good reason behind it, and like I said, the zombie stuff. Um, it's really gross and really goofy at times. Um, the zombie stuff is really good to say the least. There's a lot of decent gore in the book and I think that there are some really gross, just generally disturbing scenes. Um, there's even some other stuff like the reviver thing, <laughs> which I found really cool. And generally just the stakes in this book, I mean losing your life, are also pretty cool. And that adds to the kind of horror of it, because it is a decently frightening book. You're filled with a school of literal zombies who will fucking kill you. Uh, if they find out a little secret that's kind of hard to hide, you're not undead. And um, yeah, it's just generally a fun ride because of how scary and goofy and disgusting it can be. Um, I mean, these zombies eat fucking rotten flesh from Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, um, gross as heck. Um, another thing that I really enjoyed about the book is the main character. Uh, well, I won't say really enjoyed, but I thought this was a neat detail. He's a huge horror fan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, kind of living a horror movie, are you? I like that. I like that little aspect about him. And, you know, it's just nice having a relatable character for once in Goosebumps. You don't see that very often because there's always characters that are portrayed as, like, perfect families or, I don't know, some other shit. Then you get that character every now and then, like Gary Lutz, relatable character, or you get this character where, he, oh, he has similar interests to you. So I like that. That was a nice little detail. The book generally has a good plot and decent characters all, all around. And yeah, it's just one of the best stories I've seen in modern Goosebumps. But it has its fair share of smaller issues. The only thing I really have to say is the final ten pages are just... Bro, they're not a good conclusion to the book. It's uh not very good. <laughs> I just don't like it. Not to mention, there's a pretty shitty ending attached to it involving vampire school. 
fucking kill me. Um, yeah, not, not, not a very good conclusion. And it doesn't do a great job at wrapping up this, what would be a 10 out of 10 story. It's not getting 10 out of 10. And uh, yeah, it just fumbles the bag a little bit. Not too hard, though. And uh, if, I, I guess this is an issue. Franny. Her character, at, at first, you know, it was cool. She was the only human, sorry, she was the only other human in this academy. All right? Uh, the only other living human was, because she has been dead for a while. Yeah, she is actually dead. And that twist just doesn't work with me. It doesn't sit right with me. I just don't generally like it, to say the least. Um, you know, I can see why people like it, but for me, just personally, I didn't like it. So yeah, um, uh, let's move on to the rating. I give this book a 9.5 out of 10. This is not a 10 out of 10, I don't think. And I don't think this is an absolute favorite of mine, alright? But this is still a really fun modern and one of the best ones I have seen to date. It's just cool school as a full book. And I really like that short story already from Triple Header Book 2. It's the first story of that one. Yeah, as a full book, it really works, I feel. It's it's a fun ride. Uh, I like the fact that it's also a boarding school, so it's kind of concluded. There's also this mystery of a graveyard, forgot to mention, which is kind of cool. Though it played into Franny's reveal, which I didn't like very much. And yeah, fun ride, really good story, even a decent character, main character, and just great zombie horror. But just kind of flawed when it comes to wrapping it up. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, maybe I'll review the other uh, zombie book in Goosebumps from the Modern Series, or maybe even one day I'll talk about stuff like this. One day, not anytime soon. I haven't read that one. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.